Hi, Mark Camosio, Gunmark TV. Now what I've got here is the Milbro Tactical Division Speedmaster. And this is a new model put out by SMK Sports Marketing. And it's it's quite a, an impressive package deal. This one's kindly on loan from Range and Country in Sleaford. Currently you're getting, for 225 quid, they're doing this rifle and all this kit you see here. I think the, the, the retail might be a bit more than that, so sort of between that and 240 maybe, but to get this gun and all this, all these extras is um, pretty good going. So all included in the price, you've got a, um, a gun slip there, zip up gun slip, you're getting 100 paper targets, you're getting the funnel style target holder, 25 of the 12 gram CO2 capsules, an 88 gram Cap, um, CO2 capsule, pellets and even a cleaning kit and this gun obviously comes with t two of the 10 shot magazines. Um, now I should sh just point out while we're looking at that, we'll show you this in a moment, but this gun is designed, it's CO2 and it's designed to run off either two of the 12 gram capsules lying in series or one of the 88 gram. This adds a fair bit of weight, but obviously your shot count is that bit greater. But to have the versatility of that is, is um, you know, a nice bit of design. And there's an adapter inside which will allow you to use one or the other. And we'll show you all that. So looking at the features here, obviously tactical division suggests it's, it's you know, it's the, it's the sort of black stealth look to everything. And uh, it's there's got that sort of military overtone quite a um, stylish rifle starting at the front you've got this very boxy barrel assembly and the last few inches are actually a bit of an expansion chamber so obviously that does help to take some of the noise away picatinny rail you've got there for accessories up the top coming back here you've got another mini accessory rail underneath you've got your synthetic stock here shrouded barrel as you can see there's your action block here again Picatinny rail style mounting here. I should point out that everything you're seeing here is included. So that also includes this three to nine by forty telescopic sight and mounts. That's all in the box. So it's an incredible package deal at the moment. Bolt action. You've got your side bolt there. That's quite nicely, uh, nicely made. Good feel to that. Trigger integral trigger guards. All part of the stock moulding. And as you see, you've got this thumb hole, ambidextrous. <clears throat> style stock rubber butt pad so yeah you're off to a good start and the ergonomics of this I must say it all feels pretty good so in theory a hell of a lot for your money obviously we've got to look at the the charging system to get the co2 on board and also I'll show you the magazines as well <clears throat> so it's co2 power and as we've said, you've got the option of either uh, 12 gram cap, two 12 gram capsules, or the larger 88 gram cylinder. So, to get access to the CO2 chamber, it's all quite neat actually, neatly done. You've got a retaining clip there, push that across, pull off your forend, and now this shows this is actually the adapter tube if you're going to use two 12 gram capsules. If you're going to use the, the large, um, 88 gram which would replace that you'd unscrew just simply unscrew that and this will di directly screw into the action and sit in, in situ so we're going to go for two 12 gram capsules so make sure the adapter tube is tight and then unscrew this end first of all and then just put that down somewhere safe so now we're going to load up two new ones and they go, they sit in obviously valve first because what's going to happen is as you close it you create the pressure, you're going to pierce, that will then push against the piercing point inside. So that one goes in that way, the other one goes in the other way and we're now, we've now got two capsules inside and then you want to replace your, you can see you've got a seal on there as well, replace this cap thread that right up now th this is the, an important bit because as you get tighter you can if you're not careful just pierce one of the chambers and you want to be piercing two of the um, capsules so you want first of all get this main cap as tight as possible as quickly as possible that's that and then tighten up you can hear that sh shut straight off 
I was a little bit sluggish there, so I've lost a little tiny bit of CO2, nothing too radical. But make sure, ideally, that's as tight as possible right at the start. Then come in and tighten that up. Not overdoing it, but just you can, you'll hear if you've got a leak. When I first chambered um, on the first test, I could hear I had a little small leak, and that's because I hadn't been tight enough with the outer collar, first of all. This is for your final tensioning and I can't hear anything here now so I think I've successfully pierced both chambers. Once you're happy and you've not got a leak, you've got, air, you've got um, power on board effectively, push your assembly back in and the catch there and we're all ready to go. So it's fairly simple. If you're not familiar with it, the safety aspect with CO2, when once it's actually having contact with the air, it's a liquid form to start. The, the chambers become very cold and if it's escaping fast then they're ice cold so just mind your fingers in direct contact with any of the CO2 capsules just briefly afterwards when you're unloading the system but it's, it's, it's great I mean th this really has been the um, sort of green light for fast fire air guns you know since CO2 came onto the market and um, yeah, you can see why it's taken off because it's it's sort of power that's compact and it gives you sort of ready to go action. Right, so we've got power on board. <clears throat> now let's just have a quick look at the magazines. So we've got a 10 shot magazine style here. I've filled this one already, but the system, unlike some uh, magazines where you've actually got a pre, you've got a pre tension before you go, there's none of that with this. You literally push a pellet in go to the next one, drop a pellet in, push, go to the next one, and go all the way around till you've filled 10 shots. And it's that simple. So, cock the action, pull that right bow back. You can see the um, bolts completely withdrawn. And then you, this will now be chambered. You can see the little cutout there, there's a cutout groove, and that goes round, comes in from the right hand side, and goes round the lip of the breech. That's nice and positive, push forward and you're ready to go. So we'll just cycle the action a bit. So as you can see, pretty as, as fast as I can cock it, you've got shots. And as I say, the, 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 it's a positive feel to all that cocking and the location of the magazine. It, it's a pretty good system, I have to say. Um, quite impressive, and you know, when you think about what you're getting for the money here, real bargain, really, at the moment. There is a safety catch, as I say here. Um, it's a manual safety catch. It's sort of in guard. So um, if I cock that, and then if you press that, you've, you've applied the safety, ready to go nudge it off with your finger and there you go so they've, they've sort of thought of everything attention to detail in this is pretty good that whole system and configuration the way that the power loads up yeah it's a nice nice bit of kit you can't go wrong for that money so yeah that's the milbro tactical division speedmaster mm -hmm.